Hey what's up guys, Alone here. So recently I saw a post on Reddit which was about the Symmetra beam and how sticky it was that you could use the translocator when you were like really close to dying and then you translocated and then you died on the other side. Now people were like, mm, I don't know why this is really, I don't know, it happens all the time even when I dash as Genji I just dash away and I die when I'm really far away from the Symmetra and as someone who plays Symmetra a ton I do know how to explain this. And actually, a lot of characters in the game have the same mechanic, it's just that the Symmetra beam has a very long range, so it feels like, it feels very different. And also the damage on the beam can amp up really high, so it can deal about like 50 damage, uh, which is higher than a melee hit for example, now that's going to be very relevant in a bit. And that's why you can feel like you have a decent amount of HP, you teleport away and then you just die on the other side. And let's get into why this is now. So basically every single melee hit in the game has a lingering damage and that also includes the Reinhardt hammer swing and that's why you can see some Reinhardts when they swing they like turn around really quickly and just spin. It's not really that effective because you can't see anything but some people like to do that I guess. But uh, basically what that means is if you look at a target and then melee it and then turn around really quickly you will hit everything around you in that radius that you're turning around, but it's only for a very short amount of time. So basically that's where you see, for example, uh, we, if you watch Seagull play, he will dash to a target as Genji and then melee and turn around 180 degrees really quickly because maybe he dashed through the target, but if there is a target in front of him, he will also hit that. So he's basically doing two melee hits with one melee. So why is this relatable to the Symmetra Beam? Well, it works exactly the same way. It has that short delay where you can turn around and it still sticks to the same target. And it will actually visually show the entire mechanic. So basically when you start looking at the target, you grapple onto them with your beam and then you turn around really quickly, it will stick to that target and then drop after a very short amount of time even if you turn all the way around it will take a second or not even a second like maybe 0.2 seconds and then it lashes onto the other target that you're looking at and that delay works on infinite barriers like you can stand as a sombra in a certain area teleport away and the beam will keep doing damage to you for a very slim amount of time but as the Symmetra beam can amp up a shit ton of damage to be fair you should probably translocate a bit earlier when you're facing a Symmetra. And good Symmetra players make use of this all the time. When you start in a team fight and you see that there are plenty of targets around you, you go to the healer, you lash onto them, and when they're up just about to die, you turn around and start looking at another target and your beam behind you will finish them off and then you can just look at another target and just instantly as the other guy dies you will lash onto the other target. And that's going to do it for this video. If you think I explained it well then please leave a like to let me know and if you didn't think I explained it well and there is something you're still wondering about then you can leave that in the comment section below and I'll definitely answer it. And also if you want to see more types of content like this then please check out my channel. I have a bunch of videos on it. Recently started making Overwatch videos. I made RuneScape videos before, but doing great in Overwatch and I'm having a lot of fun. And so if you want to see when I post new videos, then you can subscribe as well. And uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.